temptation, if you have a power for military, to use it in ways that maybe is not appropriate. And uh, I think we have made that mistake in the past. And if that's where you're going with this, I absolutely agree with you. This America is turning into a country I don't recognize anymore. This is not the country I grew up in. I mean, I gotta be honest, like when I first enlisted, I, I kind of bought all the rhetoric hook, line, and sinker. Uh, you need to get away from your television, watch the broadcast, now. get away from your television, hit the street. There's a revolution going on, and we're missing the global change. Veterans have a have a have an interesting perspective on the way things are going on in the world and, and then on the processes and on the policies of NATO because we fought under them, we experienced them, we know what they say in practice isn't necessarily what's going on in the ground. Uh, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is a military alliance. Uh, it is not a humanitarian uh, agency, it is not a relief agency, it's not a charity, it's not the Rotary Club International. It is an alliance of 28 uh, Western country, European and North American countries that are in the business of, uh, uh, in theory, protecting themselves, but in fact, over the past uh, 13 years, of waging war. Yeah, we're trying to uh, save our pension fund. Uh, pension, retired Chicago police officer. I am, yeah. And that's information on it. JP Morgan Chase Bank is our pension fund bank. Uh, we discovered the pension fund abuse in 2005, notified the U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald about that. And uh, in the book there, Truth or Treason, the fifth edition is what we have on here. It's all in there. I am opposed to what's happening in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and the way NATO is being used as kind of a tool for corporate capital interest. We were told that we were invading uh, the country of Iraq, you know, to bring democracy, to bring down Saddam Hussein, to do all these great things for the people of Iraq. But when I was there, I didn't see any of these things happen. I didn't, I didn't see a lot of a lot of help being given to the people that needed. You're out here saying that the one percent, with all the power and all the banks, factories, oil wells, natural resources, all their wealth is created by human labor. It's created by people like you and I who bend our backs, and all we get in exchange is petty wages. And it's about time we rise up and we overthrow this one percent. Here to somewhat express our whatever right we have left to free speech and free organization, because. There's a lot of misinformed people in every camp, and that's pretty much the only efficient tool in mental battles like these is information. The United States is a, a nation for immigrants. In fact, so we, the immigrants, have the right, the same right that have all the before immigrants that came to the United States, the right to work, the right to be here, and the right to live and be happy. I'm out here protesting the um, large number of wars that are bankrupting this country. I am, in fact, one of the people that believes that Obama is spending too much. What I disagree with the conservatives on is that I don't think he's spending too much on people. I think he's spending too much on war. The thing is, this is the war of the United States. It's not the war of NATO. 90% of the forces belong to the United States. You've got the NRA, you've got the GOP, uh, you've got uh, the Republicans. You've even got the advertisers that advertise on Fox News who make money off of catering to white supremacists, the Klan, virtues, etc. They want to institute a missile defense system in Europe, and they're the ones that enforce, I'm sorry to say this, President Obama, but your wars. And why I'm here too is because how our civil liberties are being taken away by NDAA, CISPAS, people just slowly, gradually, our liberties are being taken away. What you're looking at is an alliance of all the past major colonial powers in Europe. Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and the world's sole military superpower and the great colonial masters are united in trying to resubjugate the world. That's the purpose of NATO. A lot of big uh, bases being built for the U.S. military, and I saw a lot of huge, you know, construction progress projects going on, like the embassy and us taking over Biop, you know, the Baghdad International Airport. But it didn't seem like it was benefiting any of the people that we were said to be there. And it really started to make me question: Why did my friends die for for these these causes? What, what was the causes that we were sent over there? And it didn't seem like bringing democracy was the answer. Corporate control of of everything. Corporate control of the government, the state. Nutrition, healthcare, corporations control everything. And I'm also here, that's a for this. 
the sooner they get out, there'll be peace in, uh, in Pakistan and Afghanistan. We need an international peace movement that talks about demilitarization, end of war, now, forever, all together. It's the beginning of a conversation, because what people are finding out is that on a very basic level, we basically pretty much agree on the most important things. We have disagreements about how we get there, and that's fair, that's the nature of life. But the fact that we would like to make a more humane and just world, uh, I have no problem with that. The question is how do we do it? governments are doing and what they're, what they're doing is smart or stupid. Now, the wars aren't meant to be won. They're used as testing grounds for the United States and NATO to build up a global expeditionary military force for the next war, if I may real quickly. I was given these medals, along with other veterans and other service members, for things that I don't really feel are worthy of, of praise or worthy of medals. They're, they're tokens of an occupation, they're tokens of suppressing other people, of uh, inflicting violence and terror on, on, on groups of people on the other side of the world, and they're not really something I want to hold on to. Giving these back is a way to start the healing process and to, and to send out a, a, a hand of reconciliation to the people that we have um, caused damage and, and, and terror in the lives of. 